Luis, Luis Guillerme de Melo uh, from Dinit, Brazil. Um, go ahead, Luis, Luis, whenever you are ready. Okay, thank you, everyone. Uh, hi, it's Luis from Brazil, and I, I'm going to present what we are doing in Brazil regarding the IREP. Uh, we are implementing a national assessment program here in Brazil. We, we are a big country, so we have in the federal network uh, uh, a big extension of roads, uh, more than 54,000 kilometers, that we are implement the IREP methodology, and we we want to thank you, IREP, to, to the support of what, what we have done until right now. And also, we share the the, the methodology and the, how we implement the the RAP with the states and also the municipals. So it's a, it's a big challenge to, to implement safer roads in, here in Brazil. So we want to share some uh, results, what we, we are doing until now. Uh, next, please. Uh, right now, what we, we have is uh, a huge survey of uh, of our roads, and until now we have more than 90% of the roads completed, and also uh, with the coded classification from IREP. And the results until now shows that we have more than 67% of the federal uh, highways with uh, a rating of three or more stars. So that's uh, it's a big a big result. But we still have uh, some issues. Uh, more than uh, almost seven percent of the federal highways have one star rating, and this is a, a big problem that we we wanna uh, put in the priority uh, after the, the the survey. And the the plan that we have is the next year uh, we have an investment plan proposal for the, the ministry to show what we need to, to implement and the budget necessary to, to, to have a safer world in, in Brazil. So as Brazil, it's a, it's a big country, we, we divide the survey in different regions, in different states. So next, please, we can see um, in different parts of Brazil. Um, next, please. In the, in the north part of Brazil, that's a, a very difficult place to, to, to be. It's an Amazon area. We don't have too many highways. We don't have too many roads. We still have some unpaved roads right there. So uh, it's, a, it's a challenge to, to do that in this specific area. But we have some numbers. And in this area, we have more than 56% of the the roads with three or three or more stars, uh, but we still have a higher percentage of roads and highways that do not have the infrastructure for pedestrians, for cyclists. And so this is a big challenge for us. You can next please. And we could show the, the, the maps with the, the roads and some uh, hot maps where we have some concentration of accidents and this close to the cities of as well so of course it's where we we, we see more results and more accidents and also we have a, a chart uh, for each road with the classification and we can see that some roads are very uh, critical in star rating so it's it's good to see where we can apply and some investment plan to, to have better roads. Next, please. In the, the south part of Brazil, it's a more, it's an area with more development. So it's, it's still some problems with some roads. Uh, it's a high percentage of highways that do not have infrastructure for pedestrians, for cyclists. We still have some 65% of the roads with three star and or more, uh, in, in some issues. Next, please. You can see also it's a it's a region that we have more uh, 
concentration of roads. Next, please. And uh, we, we can see some specific uh, classification in different states. So it's, it's a good way to see what we what what are this what, what will be the challenge for these states as well. Next, please. In the the center west part of Brazil, uh, we still have a, a a higher percentage of three star or more, more than seventy five percent of the woods have three star and or more. So this is a, a good result. It's a it's an area for uh, very agricultural uh, states, so uh, we don't have a, a huge concentration of cities, uh, but it still has also a higher percentage of infrastructure uh, without infrastructure for pedestrians and cyclists. Next, please. We can see also uh, a different classification uh, from different uh, roads. Uh, some of them has a, a, a big problem with uh, still some uh, ratings that need to improve. Next, please. Uh, in the east part of Brazil, also it's a, it's a very crowded region. It's where Sao Paulo, Rio, the big cities here in Brazil. Uh, we still some have some problems with Pedersen and cyclists also, more than 63% of the, the roads has three or more stars. Uh, and uh, next, please, we can see also, uh, this is uh, in Sao Paulo, uh, we don't have federal uh, roads. Uh, actually, almost the roads are in the concessions. So this is a, a also a, a big issue here in Brazil. We, we try to implement also the the IREP inside the concessionaires to to to, to have the control uh, during the the contract. The 30, 30 years of the contract, how to implement the IREP in the concessionaires also as as well, not only the federal network. Next, please. And the, the last uh, region is the northeast part of Brazil. We still some have some states that we we are finishing the survey. Uh, we have more than sixty four percent of the target uh, of the roads with two three or more stars. Uh, still some issues about infrastructure for pedestrians and cyclists. And next, please. Also, we can see. Uh, different classifications for each road. Uh, we, we we have some big problems with one of them, uh, and also a uh, hot map when we can see in the cities in the, the coast uh, a concentration of accidents. Next, please. <clears throat> and we we control the 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 survey and also the classification. Uh, with a BI that we we try to show to everyone what was going wrong in Brazil, and it's an easy way to see uh, uh, the the classification uh, by states, by roads, and we can do that very easily for vehicles, cyclists, cyclists, pedestrians, and, and also uh, motorcycles. As you can see, uh, we have a, a big extension of the roads, what we are doing right now. It's more than 54,000 kilometers, and we have more than 92% of the roads classi classified. So uh, it's, it's, it's an easy way. Everyone can copy the QR code in the corner of the presentation and see what are the results until now. And the idea is that next year we have a, a big plan a big investment plan to show the ministry and try to convince the decision makers to implement more budget for safer roads here in Brazil. So this, this is what we are doing right now in Brazil, and we are more than happy to explain any doubts uh, you have, guys. So thank you very much.
thank you very very much to you luis uh, for taking the time and and presenting in this copy and connect we do have one question out of your presentation first it says uh luis i love how visible your results are was there a concern from local stakeholders about sharing the results so publicly uh and congratulations on this evidence based uh to your work yeah we 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 try to share every 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 result we we have done until right now and uh i think the the ministry they like what we are doing and they are expecting the investment plan to see how we can create uh an environment to try to convince the policy makers the decision makers to to increase the budget for to implement some uh, uh any 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 plan here for to, to create a, a better or try to uh, prioritize some rules that we don't have uh, good results for the classification so we are trying to, to show them that with some small amount of budget we can we can do better work for uh, safer roads but sometimes we have a, a big budget to implement in, in to, to, to reach some results. So this is a big photograph of what we are doing right now. And we are hope we hope that with the investment plan we can share our uh, results with the, the ministry, with the police makers and decision makers to to do a better job here in Brazil with the the support from IREP that we, we have until now. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Luis.